What's going on guys, DDoG2000 here, and today we're going to be doing another Minimator tutorial. It's been a long time, and I know that, but we're going to be able to do another Minimator tutorial for you guys. Probably just studied on the word tutorial. Keep doing it. It is really freaking early, okay? I think, what time is it? It's 4.30 in the morning. I've been up for two nights, and I'm extremely tired. I want to go to bed, and without, you know putting another video out, I'm going to go ahead and make this one for you guys, because uh, I haven't been uploading very many videos. Anyways, for this Minimator tutorial, it's going to be on 1.0 and higher, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that, but I'm on 1.0.6, but I'm also on a modded Minimator um, build, so it's like, it's like Minimator, but it's been modified a little bit to add a few things into the whole system. But, um, so yeah, um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a rig that moves the eyes. Anyways, so, when I say moves the eyes, I mean these eyes are going to be replaced, and they're basically going to be moving eyes with eyelids and eyebrows and stuff. The eyebrows I don't usually do for my animations, but, well, recently I've been using them, and, I don't know, it's kind of like a touchy thing, you know, you don't have to add them, you don't, really don't. Anyways, um, if you guys want a mouth tutorial, I'll give you one, like, pretty soon. I just need to practice, because <laughs> I don't usually make the ones with mouths. Anyways, so, to get straight into this tutorial, I'm gonna get rid of that. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the skin so that way we have no eyes. Yeah, I know, really weird, right? Well, that's basics of the rig itself. Anyways, I know this isn't how you make real rigs, but it's how I make mine. So, we want to get rid of those eyes. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Google or whatever uh, web browser you have and you got to go to this site called Skindex. So guys, this is the website I'm talking about. See, it has all these different skins that you can download, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so yeah, you kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, what we're going to want to do is, um, if you want to click one of these, we could, like, you, you know what, download whatever skin you want, or if you already have a skin on your PC, just keep that. But, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to the editor. Now, you're going to see the skin that I just used in my previous animation, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, yeah, see, this wasn't the guy from the new Forge teaser that just came out. Um, also, thanks for the positive feedback on that one. It was, uh, it was fun. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the upload from complete computer computer and you want to upload the skin that you have. So make sure that your skin that you have and you want to use is downloaded onto your computer itself. And I recommend putting it just on your desktop for now so that way you can find it really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it right up. All right. So there we go. We have our skin. Uh, yeah. So this is exactly what we're looking for. We want our skin inside skin decks. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to turn off overlay. Unless your character has eyes that go on the overlay, then you might as well just delete that. But you want to grab the eraser tool and you're actually going to want to erase the eyes themselves. So yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't think you're expecting that. Maybe you were. I'm not. I'm not kind of sure. I'm not really sure. Now, I'll teach you fingers another time if you really wanted to, and all that other stuff, but we're going to do the eyes. Anyways, so, after you've done this, you're actually going to want to download it back to your computer. Yeah, I know. That's a thing. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and put this onto my desktop. I highly recommend that you guys put this on your desktop as well, unless you want to go searching for the downloads folder through Minimator. So, yeah, like I said before, put it on your desktop. Definitely recommend it that way. Okay guys, so once you're back in Minimator, you want to go ahead and put that skin on a character. So you find a character in Minimator, like Steve and stuff, or Alex, whichever one you're using, and then you look up that character uh, skin on your PC or laptop or whatever, and you put it onto your characters like so. So now you see he has no eyes. Now I turned on backface just to make this a little bit easier for me, but you know, you don't have to. But basically what's going to happen now is we're going to work on the eyes themselves. Alright, so, you're going to want to pull up a white block like this one, for example. Actually, this is the one you're going to want to pull up. So, you grab this, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Cube Properties, and you're going to go to Parent, which is right here, and you're going to click Steve, or whatever your character's name is, and you put it on the head. So, once it's put on the head, this is when your own personal preference comes in. So, 
since he has two eyes, which I like to do for people with tutorials and stuff like that, because it's like, you know, people don't usually use skin to the one eye. Anyways, so you're going to want to make it small enough, kind of around that length. And now this is where your personal preference thing that I just said comes in. So what you're going to want to do is you want to put your cube all the way to the front of the face. You want to make sure that it's kind of like not touching the edges because sometimes it'll have a rendering glitch where it like starts to go all willy-nilly. I want to see if I can actually get you guys an example of that. Okay, I can't really get you an example of that, but it's like it'll go all willy-nilly and stuff like that. But anyways, like I said, this, this is personal preference right here. So you want to put it as far back as you want it for right now. So now that you've done that, you're going to want to pull up another block. Yeah, another block, because that's what this rig is made of. <laughs> and you're going to want to put it on the head as well. So once it's done being put on the head, this is actually when you're going to want to keep skin decks open. You're going to want to keep skin decks open to do this stuff. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to skin decks, and you're going to want to click this tool right here, and you want to click the skin. Okay, so once you have the skin done, you want to go over this and you want to actually highlight this whole number right here because that's the number code for your own color on this skin you have. You're going to want to control C on it so that way you copy it. Go back to Minimator. Then you want to go to color because you can do that. And then you go ahead and paste it. There we go. So once that's done, if you scale it down, it should be the same color as his skin. And I hear my dog barking, you guys. That's not good. Okay, I should probably go fix that. I will be right back. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a situation. Anyways, so back to the tutorial. What you're going to want to do is you're going to make the color of block like that. And this is going to be when personal preference and keen of eye, which I like to refer to it, comes into place with your skin. Anyways, so this block, you want it to be as deadly close to this skin itself as you can get so if you really want to be touchy you can mess with the numbers manually or you can just do it like that that looks actually pretty good that actually looks perfect okay so once you get it as close as you can to the skin like that you're gonna want to have it go right along there but you don't want to have it like that oh jesus anyways you don't want to have it like that so click the block and you're going to want to scale it down uh, in my personal idea i scale it down all the way just to make it easier for one reason and i'll tell you that reason pretty soon that's the wrong button anyways so i want to maximize this there we go and bam so once we do that we want to go ahead and click it and move it as close to the eye as close to the eye as possible so you know what I, i'd say right about there works out for me yeah that, that, that works out that works so then once you're you know all into the jazzy stuff you can also go into the face itself yeah it's a little bit freaky i know but it's like you can do it this way to like see whether or not you're actually like there or not i don't know it's it's really weird Okay, you can hear my brother in the background. I apologize. Okay, yeah, so you can go like into the eye and then you can go like this. And bam. Okay. So that works too. Anyways, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do that and you're actually going to duplicate that same block and you're going to put it on the side. That looks right, right? And you're going to want to do it again. And if you want to do it like this, you duplicate it and then you actually go like that and you put minus and that just works better like that. And you do that again, you duplicate this block, and you go minus. So if you guys are having a hard time keeping up, basically just make this block and put it on each side of the eye. I never used to do this because I never thought it was worth it, but it's worth it. Anyways, so once you've done that, you can either duplicate that block again, which I'm actually going to do, or you can make a new block and do that all over again for the lower and upper eyelids. So I'm going to do that for this. You're going to go like that. Now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just because, you know, in case you um, want to, uh, what's it called? If you want to make it like 
at an angle and stuff you don't want to have it too short or else you're going to see through the eyelid and that's not exactly what you want to do <laughs> so once you're done putting that down there that'll be the lower eyelid so once you're done doing that you want to click that and you want to go back up here and click minus so that way it's identical but on the opposite side then since you've done that you want to duplicate it again i think i duplicated it i cannot tell no, I did not. So, duplicate it again. And then you want to go to this number, and you want to go 180. So, once that's at 180, you lift it all the way up here. And then there you go. So, the reason why you put it at 180 is because when you're moving an eyelid, you want to scale it down like this with the scaler. So, that way it looks like, you know, smoother, and you don't have to mess around personally and manually with a whole bunch without, you know, real time stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It just makes it easier for me. I'm lazy. And now you want to get rid of the minus. That's the two. You don't want to get rid of the two. Okay. Get rid of the minus. There we go. There we go. So now we got the eyelids done for you guys. Now, I bet you're wondering, that looks freaking evil. Yes, it does look very evil. So, this is when I said about personal preference comes into play. You actually want to go ahead and move the white block that we put in re recently and move it up as much as you want so like you can have it in depth of eyes and you can have as much depth in the eyes as you want eh, but judging your personal preference and what you like to see so once you've done that it's time to make the pupils which you guys i'm pretty sure want to see so you go ahead you make a block you want to take that block and you want to go ahead and parent it to the head again you could parent it to the eye, it doesn't matter, but I parent it to the head just to make it easier. Anyways, so, once you've done that, it doesn't matter how you do it, just move it into that eye socket. It's an eye socket now, because, you know, that's how physics, well, not physics, that's how, god, god, that's why I feel you. Anyways, so, geez, he's, he's really loud today. <laughs> anyway, so you want to put the pupil in, now I know it's really hard to see right now, that's why you go back to your website. Yeah, click back a whole bunch. You click that tool, you click that, and you get the eye color. So that way you can have that eye color exactly the way it was back in the original skin. Then, paste. There you go. You got the eye color and everything inside. So we're going to duplicate this. Because he gets big eyes. And there you go. Well, I mean, you know. Not really, there you go, let's, let's make it smaller, I guess. And... There you go. There you go, guys. That, that, that's your rig. That is your moving eye rig. Not exactly the most complicated thing in the world, I get it, but it, I mean, it's a little bit complicated in case you're not really used to this kind of stuff. I remember the first rig I ever made took me about an hour, and this took me... I think under 15 minutes, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, guys, that's how you make a rig. Now, eh, it takes a little bit of editing sometimes. I mean, it, it, like I said, it, it's all based on what you like to see in a skin. So I'm going to move this up a little bit because, you know, that's that's what I'm thinking. There we go. I like that. I like that a little bit better. I don't know why. But one thing you want to make sure that is that the pupils aren't sticking out. So that way the eyelid goes over no problem. So maybe you have a little bit of space like that. And... Um, if you really, really want to go all the way and you have, like, a really emotional animation, you make another block and then, you know, parent it to the head. And if you scale it down, you can scale it down like this. You can make it a little bit extended. This is, like, a little bonus thing, by the way. You don't actually have to do this. You can go like that. And you go like that. So that way it's in the eyelid. It's over the eye's pupil. Scale it down a little bit. Uh, so that, like, it's over the eyes, um, pupil, and it's over the eyelid. Raise it up to about here. And kind of test around. That looks about right. And there you go. So like if you have an emotion animation, you can actually have like tears and stuff like that. Just put it underneath both eyes. Like I said, I only usually work with one because of my character design. But there you go. Like you guys have your very own... Uh, pupil and everything so one thing I definitely recommend that I didn't do in this animation 
name every single one of your blocks the part of you your eye inside of that character so like these would be the upper eyelids these would be the sides of the eyes these would be the pupils what side the pupil is on what part of the head the pupil is on what the eye whole white part is all the all that kind of stuff you want to make sure to name that because you know it's important and uh you don't exactly want to not do that so that way you can just click these things and just find them easily <clears throat> anyways guys that's about it for making the rig in general if you want to know how to move the eyes you just go right here and move them about there you go that's how you move the eyes not difficult is it so yeah that's about it you guys that's how you make the rig itself if you want to go ahead and export this rig onto your desktop to use it in other programs not other programs other projects click this button no click um click your character right here you click that right there and then you save this you save the selected objects and then it'll save to your desktop if you choose to and then there you go you'll have your own rig kind of style schematic file thing on your desktop for you guys to be able to put into your other projects using this button that's what i meant by it so you guys that's about it for today that's how to make a rig with eyes that move and i hope you guys enjoyed if you want more minimator tutorials like i have done in the past and right now leave a comment down below telling me what you want to see as a tutorial itself holy crap he's screaming loud and i will get to you guys in the next video peace out stay high in rainbows and don't forget to dress nicely. Peace.